Ah, ya, ya, ya. Ada, okey, okey, okey. Uh, Mai Sarah Alwani. Ada, doktor. Ada. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay. Venice Warren. Ada. Uh, Chong Chi San. Yes, morning, sir. Morning. Uh, Nur Hazirah Sulaiman. Ada. Okay, ada. Yuni Zaratika. Saya doktor. Okay, thank you. Okay. Ahmad Taufik. Yes, sir. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. Ahmad Taufik baru join, eh? Ha. Ah. Okay, Chong Hon Lim. Yes, good morning, sir. Okay, thank you. Uh, Nur Mariam. Lao Wen Yi. Oh, Lao Wen Yi join, eh? Okay, thank you, Lao. Siti Nur Ashia. Morning, Dr. Oh, ada, eh? Thank you. P. King King. Yes, morning doctor. Morning. Siti Rabiatul. Yes, morning doctor. Morning. Oh, suara clear. Eh? Duduk mana Siti? Duduk dekat Sepang. Oh, suara very clear. Eh? Good. <laughs> okay, Chan Yu Zuan. Yes, morning doctor. Morning. Uh, Lim Yi Ying. Yes, good morning, Doctor. Good morning. Then, Nualia Nabila. Nur Mahira. Okay. Oh, ada. Uh, then, uh, go for Nur Ain Shafiqa. Ada tak ada ada. Okay, ada thank you. Uh, Ong Zui Hui. Morning doctor. Morning. Ong pun baru scan eh. Eight thirty. Delapan tiga puluh tiga. Nur Hafiza. Morning doctor. Good morning. Amirul Hazim. Amiru Hazim ada? Okay, kita just tanya lagi sekali. Uh, Aini Firhani. Morning, Doktor. Saya ada. Ada, ada. Okay. Mai Sarah. Mai Sarah ada? Nurul Najwa. Mama Arif. Ada doktor. Oh ada. Okey. Okey. Uh, Yohanis Imani. Ada doktor. Oh, ada. Okey. Uh, Mama Aiman. Nur Maryam, Nur Alia Nabila, oh no Alia baru join. I do not know. Okay, thank you. So kita akan continue kita punya lecture uh, dekat slide yang kita berhenti hari tu.
Okay. Uh... Ahmad Nasharuddin. Ahmad Nasharuddin dah scan kan tadi kan? Uh, belum lagi Doktor. Tak, tak boleh scan lagi. Oh tak boleh scan lagi eh? Dia punya metrik nombor apa? Dua tu tu tuju, lapan sembilan lima. Oh tak boleh scan lagi eh? Tak apa tak apa lagi you scan balik eh? Okay, now kita sambung balik uh, example, example yang uh, atas sebelum ni uh, kita agak dah belajar how kita guna t-test eh? So, now we use another example yeah? This example uh, boleh kita minta uh, Wong Kongwei Oh, uh, yes, Dr. Boleh baca? Testing baca. for population mean if an unknown population tender division. Example, the current rate for producing 5M use and nearly electric coke is 250 per hour. A new machine has been purchased and installed that, according to the supplier, will increase the production rate a sample of 10 lenderings selected hours from last month revealed the mean hour production on the new machine was 256 units with a sample standard division of 6 per hour at the 0.05 significant level can nearly conclude that the new machine is faster Okay, uh, thank you Wong. Okay, this question kita nak pakai Z or T? Wong, which one? D. Kita nak pakai Z or T? D. T or Z, which one? D. T, eh? Ah. Uh. Why T? Uh, a sample of 10 and that is 10 hour. Okay, now the reason is because the quantity only 10 sample. So 10 sample that means lower than 30. Even though they given the uh, standard division, eh, they beritahu they given the standard division Tetapi this special case lah. Eh? Dualnya dia tak bagi standard division. But even though dia bagi standard division but the sample is lower than 30 so kita pakai T-test. Okay, the next step. Step number one. We develop the hypothesis. We say the H0 mu lowest or equal to 250. H1 mu more than 250 output lah. Eh? So level of significant 0 0.05. So test statistic, we use a T distribution. Okay. Because the population standard division is known and the sample less than 30. Okay. Why we use the T distribution. Okay, next step, step number four. We need to calculate the T value. So T value, this formula, X minus mu divided by S divided by square root N. So X bar 250 divided by 256 minus 250 divided by 6 divided by square root 10, we get 3.162. So kita cuba minta uh, Yohanes Imani. Yohanis ada? Ada kalkulator?
Yohanis ada kalkulator? Ada, ada. Cuba dapatkan nak value dia betul tak betul? 256 Dapat? Dapat, Doktor. Berapa awak dapat? Satu. Satu enam dua. Okay, we get this value, eh? 3.162. Yang ni adalah T value. Okay, T calculation, eh? T calculation. Now, dia punya uh, critical value adalah 1.883. So yang ni kita kena dapat daripada T uh, distribution table. Cuba buka table T distribution. Okay, saya cuba buka juga. Eh. Dua siapa yang ada buku, boleh buka buku. Dua siapa yang tak ada buku, boleh type dalam Google. Eh. You type T distribution table. Okey, kalau dekat internet, nampak kan? Saya ambil daripada Google. Okey. This one. Uh, Okey, kita ada 10 sampel. 10 sampel. Uh, you tengok dekat uh, degree of freedom 9 lah. Eh, 9 sini. Degree of freedom is 9. Okay, then kita dapat uh, 0. 0. 0. 0.05 one tail. Intersection kita dapat 1.33. Dekat sini eh, 1.833. Dapat tak? Boleh tanya Nur Fadilah? Hello Nur Fadilah? Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Macam mana kita dapat 1.3 tu tahu eh? Ha, boleh ha? Boleh, boleh. Boleh explain kat saya macam mana kita dapat degree of freedom mengapa kita melihat 9? 10 tolak 1, N tolak 1. Ah, yeah, good. Then kita akan melihat 0.05 one tail. Eh? So kita akan dapat 1.833. Boleh eh? Boleh. Okay, thank you. Kenapa dia tak keluar yang tu eh? Saya patah balik. Okay, then. Uh, this one. Okay, why eh?
Ah, okay. The one we get 1.33 dekat sini eh. 1.33 tu. Kita dapatkan daripada T distribution table. Okay now kita melihat uh, what is our decision. So kita lihat uh, kita melihat kita punya decision kita punya critical value tadi kita dapat 1.833 ya Uh, duduk di sini ya, eh. mungkin duduk sini. So calculation value kita dapat berapa? Calculation value, calculation value dapat 3.162. So calculation value kita dapat 3.162 duduk di sini ya, eh. somewhere di sini lah. We get 3.162. So what is decision? Cuba kita tanya Nur Sufi Najwa. Nur Sufi? Nur Sufi Najwa ada dengar? Uh, ada. Okay, what is decision? Apa keputusan dia? Accept A0 or reject A0? Boleh? Accept A0. Ya. Betul kah? Uh, saya bagi tip skip. Di zoom. Zoom ni eh. Zoom ni. Zoom ni. Adalah do not reject. Reject A0 Itu dia tak elok lah Okay, warna biru ni adalah Do not reject A0 So, dia duduk di luar kawasan tu ah, ha, Bermaksud Kita reject A0, is it? Betul tak? Kan? So, kita reject A0 Sebab dia duduk di kawasan eh. Dia duduk di lebih pada zone tu. So kita reject A0 kan? Betul tak? No Sufi Najwa? Uh, ya yeah, Doktor. Kalau kita reject A0 kita accept H1. Kan kita accept H1 kan? Sebab kita dah reject A0 kita accept H1. H1 kata apa? What H1 say? Kita tengok balik. Which one say? Mu more than 250. Bermaksudnya. Bukan. Bermaksudnya kita boleh menyatakan. Uh, the null hypothesis is rejected. Okay, the mean number produced is more than. 250. Okay, no Sufi, cuba baca yang step number 5 ni. Um, make a decision and interpret the result. The null hypothesis is rejected. The mean number produced is more than 250 per hour. 
Okay, thank you. Dan cuba kita tanya Lian. Lian Weili. Ada Doktor. Okay. Lian. Uh, based on this graph. Okay, kita dapat the T value 3.625. Kita reject as zero. Ha. Why kita reject as zero? Why we reject as zero? Because more than 250. Ah, because the more than 1.833, bukan 250. Ah, ah, so kita they because they do do atas pada 1.833, so we reject as zero. What the A0 say? They mean A0 say so we reject A0 we uh, accept H1 H1 say mu equal to more than 250 Okay, thank you Lian Okay, thank you Okay, siapa yang confused? Okay, next kita sambung kepada Uh, p value okay p value p value instead of kita buat uh, sebelum ni kita ada buat z test and t test ah kita belajar t test and t test tetapi p value also can do in hypothesis testing okay. so kita cuba minta uh, cheng mei yes papa Cheng, tolong baca Cheng. Slide nama ni. P value in hypothesis testing. P value is the probability of observing in a sample value as extreme as or more extreme than the value observed. Given the given that the new hypothesis is true, in testing a hypothesis, we can also compare the p value to the significant error. Okay. In general rule, using the p value. Reject hash zero if p value is smaller than significant error. Okay, thank you, uh, Cheng. Ini paling penting ya. Ha? Ah, ini paling penting. Okay, ini kena ingat ya. Ha? Ini dia menyatakan he said we reject as zero if p value small than significant level. Okay, significant level is alpha. If we get p value small than significant level, so we reject is zero. Ini dia punya keyword lah. So dalam p value kita kena ada keyword. This one keyword. So yang ni adalah kita punya uh, let's say formula lah. Okay, that mean we reject is zero uh, if the p value lower than significant level. Okay, we see how we use the p-value. This one, the previous example where they develop the hypothesis is 0 mu than equal to 200. H1, mu more than 200. Okay, yang ni previous uh, example. Eh? Previous example, I think dalam slide number berapa kita tengok. Eh? Uh, and and more than okay. Okay, they make better example ni. So the example this eh? They take from this example to determine what the p value. Hmm. What is a p value? Instead of uh, we use the z test, eh? so kita boleh guna juga p value. So kita tengok how do use the p value. Okay, is zero mu uh, 
lowest or equal to 200. H1, mu more than 200. So now we calculate the Z value. Eh? Z value we get 1.55. Uh, critical value we get 2.33 okay ini you kena tengok slide tadi ya eh? slide tadi how they calculate the uh, z value 1.55 critical value 2.33 okay now kita dah dapat calculation value 1.55 eh? okay 1.55 uh, then Kita lihat dia punya critical value 2.33. Okay. Now, uh, kita lihat 1.55 dekat normal distribution table. Eh. Those of ada normal distribution table. Okay. Normal distribution table. Saya pun cuba cari eh. Dua siapa yang ada boleh uh, cari eh, normal distribution table. Okay, dekat normal, normal distribution table. Okay, you cari uh, atas 0.05. So dekat normal distribution atas, atas you jadi 0.05. Belah kiri you cari 1.5. Okay. Dapat? You kena look. Look at normal distribution table. Okay, look at normal distribution table. Bila you dapat normal table, you look at apa? Eh? Look at apa atas 0.05. Look at the right. Look at the right of the table. At 1.5 okay so we can get the value 0 interchange eh? that mean they get the value of 0 0.4394 okay Kita akan dapat get value 0 0.4394. Okay. Boleh semua dapat kan? Normal distribution table. Kita cuba tanya. Momo no ikram. Momo no ikram ada. Okay, tak respon eh. Quizy Ming. Ya. Yeah. Yeah. Quizy Ming, you dapat 0 0.4394? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay, semua dapat eh. Then... After we get 0 0.4304, thank you, Kui. Kui, ada kakaita, Kui? Ada, ada. Oh, cuba 0 0.5. 0 0.5 minus 0 0.4394. 0 0.606. 0. 0. 0. 0.06. 0.6 So kita akan dapat 0 0.06 0.6 Okay Then kita compare dengan alpha Alpha is 0 0.01 Okay 
So now kita cuba tanya Nurul Huda Hanan ni. Okey, Doktor. Okey, sekarang ni kita dapat P value 0.0606. Mm-hmm. Then alpha 0.01. So the mid criteria, adakah P value ni more than alpha? Um, 0.0606 kurang daripada. Ha. Adakah 0.0606 lower than 0.01? Besar. Zero, eh, ah, betul lah. 0.06 besar daripada 0.01. Okay, good. Maksudnya tak fulfill requirement. Ha? So, we cannot reject as zero, is it? Betul tak? Nuruh dah? So, kita lihat balik dia punya decision. Dia kata apa? Cuba baca Nuruh dah. Decision rule using the P value reject HO if P value kurang daripada significant level. So how about this case? 0.06 lebih daripada 0.01. Ah, that mean cannot uh, kita tak boleh reject is zero lah. Kita accept H1. Kan, dia punya decision fail to reject as zero because 0.06 is more than 0.01. That mean we uh, fail to reject as zero. Okay, that mean we accept the as zero. Betul kan? Betul, betul. So, we accept as zero, as zero say what? A0 say mu lowest or equal to 200. Okay. So menyatakan bahawa uh, kita punya mu A0 uh, is lowest or equal to 200. Okay. Ini nak menyatakan bahawa kita boleh guna P value. Kita say kita boleh guna P value. Okay, untuk buat decision. Instead of kita pakai D test or T test. Boleh semua faham eh? Bermaksudnya we can do utilize the P value instead of use a Z test or T test. Instead of we use Z or T test. Okay, uh, we move to the next. Okay, the next is about the another new topic. They mean the test concerning the uh, proportions. Okay, kita nak minta boleh uh, Muhammad Aiman. Muhammad Aiman ada? Okay, kita minta lu you think. Yeah. Okay, lu boleh baca semua lu. Uh, boleh. Head on a ring of a ring. A ring is a version of a ring. A ring is that indicated the part of the operator or ember having a particular rate of inverse. The term okay. is denoted by E and is bound by X or N. The head that it takes is computed as follows. Head or high water rate one of the term. Using this formula. Huh? Okay, thank you. Okay, now we about the test proportion. So, test proportion, in the hypothesis, we use this formula, Z equal to P minus pi. Pi, they mean proportion of proportion. Eh? Bukan 3.14. Eh? 
Sebenarnya kita belajar dalam matematik 3.14 kan? Go to 5. Bukan ah, ini te, bukan yang ni. Not this one. So pi that mean the population population. Then square root divided by square root pi 1 minus pi divided by n. Okay, this one. So the next, they have some requirement eh, during for uh, proportion proportion, how the condition we use. So boleh kita minta candy? Yes, doctor. Boleh baca this slide? Uh, boleh. Assumptions in testing a population proportion using the debt distribution. A random sample is student from the population. It is assumed that the binomial assumption discussed are met. The sample data collected are the result of cows. The outcome of an experiment is classified into one or two mutually exclusive categories, a success or a failure. The probability of a success is the same for each trial and for the trials are independent. The test is appropriate when both n pi and n divide 1 minus pi are at least 5. When the above conditions are met, the normal distribution can be used as an approximation to the binomial distribution. Okay, thank you, uh, Candy. So now the punya recommend dekat sini, eh? So those soalan tentang proportion proportion n pi or n 1 minus pi should be more than 5. Kalau you dapat bawah pada 5, tak perlu proceed untuk buat analisis. Eh? Sebab uh, kalau you guna komputer, my experience, dia akan keluar number yang pelak-pelak eh, macam-macam number dia keluar. Eh? Sebab dia tak boleh uh, calculate bila value less than 5 okay. dia kena more than 5 itu first requirement eh. so nanti kalau kita ada proportion-proportion first requirement kena pastikan n pi or n 1 minus pi should be more than 5 lower than that kita tak payah perlu buat calculation eh. so they have three condition of proportion test proportion uh, condition number one, we call uh, A0 uh, pi equal to the value. Condition number two, we say A0 pi more or equal to n value. Uh, number three, we say pi is lowest and equal to value. So we using only one formula. We use the Z formula, sahaja. So equal to P minus pi. Uh, divided by square root n1 minus pi divided by n. So we see the example. This is a formula, eh? the same as previous slide, using only z formula. Okay, cuba kita tengok example. This example kita minta uh, George. Yes. John boleh to tolong baca George? Okay, test statistic for testing a single population pro proportion. Suppose prior, prior elections in a certain state indicate it is necessary for a candidate for governor to receive at least 80% of the vote in the northern section of the state to be elected. The incumbent Governor is interested in assessing his chance of returning to office and plans to conduct a survey of 2,000 registered voters in the northern section of the state. Using the hypothesis testing procedure, assess the governor's chance of re-election. Sample proportions is uh, 1,550, use significance uh, level 0 0.01.
Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, this one they want to know the government governor to be elected. So the punya uh, the value pi should be more than eighty percent at least, eh? So ni agak tinggi, eh? And equal pi to equal to eighty percent, eh? You know, okay, this one very high, eh? So they go for survey of uh, 200, 2000, then uh, they go survey to 1550 uh, of the 2000, then use the significant 0 0.01. So how about the hypothesis of uh, proportion, proportion? Okay, now step number one, uh, step number one, we develop the hypothesis. You say is zero pi more than 0.80 percent the value. H one pi lowest than 80 percent. Then uh, this uh, symbol because the word the at least uh, alpha we use 0 0.01. Then we use the z distribution. After that, we need to confirm whether uh, n pi or n minus pi is, is more than uh, pi. Okay. So, what is step number four? Okay, we say c n minus pi. Okay. Okay, sekarang kita cuba cari n minus pi. Berapa value dia? Cuba kita minta uh, minta Masara Alwani. Masarah ada? Masarah tak ada? Chong Chisa? Ya, yes, sir. Okay, Chong Chisa ada calculator? Ya. Yeah. So, can you calculate N time 5? How many we get? Based on this question. 1,240 You get value really huh? 1,240 1,400 eh? 200 200 And 40 40 How you calculate? 1,550 Time 80% Ah, uh, good Now 80% eh? So yeah. if we calculate, okay, thank you, ah, uh, uh to some. So we must calculate n direct five, ah. Huh? Okay, n, the begitau dekat previous ni, n adalah one thousand five hundred fifty. N adalah one pi pi zero. N, eh? So, pi, sorry, pi adalah 0 0.80% uh, or 0 0.8. So, you darab kedua-dua ni, you akan dapat 1,240. Dia punya dah meet requirement because this value more than Five. Okay, maksudnya 1240 more than five. 
Okay, the next step, we calculate the value, use the Z formula. Okay, use Z formula, kita minta Nur Hazira. Ya, Doktor. Nur Hazira ada kalkulator? Ada, Doktor. Cuba dapatkan 1550 divided by 200 uh, minus dengan 0.8 bahagi dengan square root 0.8. Sekejap, Doktor. Okay. Dua poin lapan kosong ya Doktor. Okey betul. Eh? Tapi dapat minus dua poin lapan kosong. Negatif dua poin lapan kosong. You akan dapat somewhere di sini lah. Bergerak eh. This value. Dua poin lapan kosong. Now the next step. Kita nak tahu dia punya uh, how we get one point six five. Okey. Kita lihat dekat uh, Normal distribution table. Cuba kita tanya. Sekejap. Kita lihat normal distribution table. Saya pun nak buka sekejap. So, semua look at normal distribution table ok 0 that mean we get 0 0.5 minus 0 0.05 ini kita dapat berapa? 0.5 minus 0.05. We get 0.4500. Okay, kita cuba lihat dekat uh, normal, uh, standard normal table 0.4500. Zero point four five zero zero. Dia tak ada kat situ lah. Ha. You kena tengok yang nombor terdekat zero point four five zero five. Okay, kita kena tengok dekat value four point zero five zero five. Look at apa? Look at upper graph, upper table lah, eh? at uh, 0 0.4505, you dapat 0 0.05. Look at the right of table, you get 1.6. So, total 
up, you get 1.65. Okay, Yuna, Yuni is there, Ratika? Yeah, Macam mana kita dapat 1.65 tau eh? Ah? Huh? How we get 1.65? Boleh ke? Ah, ya tu dua saya kurang jelas dah tu. Okay, you kena tengok dekat normal distribution table. Uh. Ada normal distribution table ada tak? Ada. Kita tengok through Google lah, eh. normal distribution table. Uh. Kita tengok dekat normal distribution table. The value. Oh, Zero point lima ni ke? Ya, yeah, ya, yeah, betul. Ah, okey, okey. Dekat atas tu dia tulis apa? Atas. 0.05. Okey, belah kiri. 1.6. Ah, then kita akan dapat 1.65. Oh, baik. Kita boleh eh? Ah, boleh, so boleh. We get 1.65. Dia boleh dapat value 1.65. Okay, now kita cuba tanya Ahmad Taufik. Uh, ah, yeah, Yerata. Okay, what is the decision? Apa dah, apakah keputusan dia? Keputusan dia kita terima is zero. Betul ke? Negatif dua puluh lima lapan kosong. Lebih kecil berada. Ya kita kita apa? Terima zero kita. Betul ke ni? Macam salah ya? Dua puluh lima lapan kosong negatif. Ah kita reject zero kita reject zero. Okay, thank you. Ah, uh, Ahmad Taufik. So this green zone, this green zone uh, is a uh, is zero is not rejected. No. Uh, they mean uh, now minus two point eight zero under this zone. Eh? Uh -huh. This zone is we call we reject the eight zero. We reject eight zero. We accept each one. Okay, we accept the H1, H1 say high lowest than 0 0.8. That mean they say pi is lowest than uh, 0 0.8. Okay, this one our decision. Bermaksudnya, uh, governor itu tidak layak untuk jadi governor sebab dia punya pemilihan dia dia punya chosen is lower than 80% itu dah punya uh, conclusion dia ok thank you Ahmad Taufik selamat datang ok boleh eh siapa ada soalan Okay, now next uh, we move to the, okay. 
kita sudah habis uh, one hypothesis now kita continue kita punya lecturing masuk dekat uh, two hypothesis Okay, uh, just now we learn the one hypothesis. Now we learn another one is a two sample test hypothesis. Okay, we learn the new topic. They call two sample test hypothesis. So what the two sample test hypothesis? They mean we have uh, two independent. Two independent. So then another one we learn about two population. They about two, uh, more than two. Then they have conduct the hypothesis two independent. So this one also two independent. So explain about IV and DB, then they were hypothesis. That means this topic, we learn about two group of independent. Yang sebelum ni, kita belajar only one. Uh. Okay, kita melihat example what condition kita pakai to sample test hypothesis. Boleh kita minta uh, Nur Mariam ada? Nur Mariam? Okay, no malam tak ada. Lau Wengyi. Yes, doktor. Lau, boleh baca slide ni? Slide hmm. number 03. Comparing two populations, some example. Is there a difference in the mean value of residential real estate sold by male agents and female agents in South Florida? Is, the, uh, is there a difference in the mean number of effects produced on the day and the afternoon shift at Kimberley products? Is there a difference in the mean numbers of days absent between young workers under 21st years of age and older workers more than 60 years of age in the fast food industry? Is there a difference in the proportion of USM graduates and UKM graduates who pass the state certified public accountant examination on their first attempt? Okay, thank you, Lau. Now, we have two conditions. Eh? That means we have male and female agent. So we can use two hypotheses. So we want to know the day or afternoon. Eh? That means they have two conditions. So another one, we use the young workers or oldest workers. Also, we use the two hypotheses. Then another one, we use the USM graded and UK, UKM graded in terms of uh, CPA. So we use the two population. So condition there, macam mana kita guna two hypotheses. Okay, untuk use the two population, kita akan guna these two formula. These two formula, uh, condition yang pertama, the sample size is more than 30, or sigma 1 and sigma 2 are known, kita guna this formula. Okay, z equal to x bar 1 minus x bar 2, divided by square root, uh, standard division power by 2 of group 1 divided by N1 plus standard division power by 2 of group number 2 divided by group N number 2. Eh? So another formula we use, uh, sample size is 30 but uh, sigma unknown, eh? not given. So we use standard division power by 2 divided by N square root 1 square root plus 
standard deviation group number 2 power by 2 divided by n2. Okay. So they have two conditions. Um, either formula number 1 or formula number 2. It will depend on the question. Okay. Now we see the example lah. Kita melihat contoh. Then kita boleh minta uh, Siti Nur Asia. Ya, Doktor. Okay, Siti Nur Asia boleh baca. Uh, comparing two population means example, the youth can facility was recently installed at the Brian Root Road food town location. The store manager would like to know if the mean checkout time using the standard checkout method is longer than using the use scan. She gathered the following sample information. The time is measured from the from when the customer enters the line until their bags are in the cart. Hence, the time includes both waiting in line and checking out at 0 0.01 significance level. Customer type standard use scan, sample mean 5.50 minutes, 5.30 minutes, population standard deviation 0 0.40 minutes, 0 0.30 minutes, sample size 50, 100. Okay, terima kasih. Uh... Okay, now, this question, there are two conditions. They mean uh, standard and you scan. Kalau kamu perasan, kalau pergi dekat uh, Tesco, dekat Tesco, uh, you akan boleh bayar dua condition. Sama ada you bayar cara beratur, ataupun you scan you punya product yang you beli by yourself last kali you scan credit card ok dan tu dia panggil uh, you scan the standard ni bermaksudnya you beratur ikut line up sampai dekat you nak bayar dia akan turun scan untuk you last kali you kena bayar the cash ataupun you guna credit card boleh ha eh? so kita nak tahu uh, these two condition sama ada guna standard line up kita beratur ataupun use scan bermaksudnya individual pergi dekat own station yang boleh buat sekarang eh. dia boleh scan sekarang so kita nak tahu adakah these two standard yang mana lebih jimat yang mana lebih bagus eh. so we collect the data uh, sample mean Untuk standard, you get 5.50. Yeah. Untuk you scan, we get 5.30 minutes. Okay. Then we calculate the standard division. For standard, we get 0 0.4. For the you scan, we get 0 0.3. So sample size, we go for 50 standard and 100 for you scan. Okay. They mean we have two conditions, whether the standard type or you scan type. Okay, step number one, what we do, we develop the hypothesis. Okay, we say A0, uh, that means the standard, uh, lowest or equal to U uh, standard. H1, we say the standard more than uh, you scan standard. Okay, this one we develop the hypothesis. So level of significant we use 0 0.01. What the body can? Is it Ah, yeah, yeah. 0 0.01. Okay. So we determine the test statistic on step number three. We use a Z distribution. Okay. So, because we know the standard division is given in the quotient. Standard division, dia bagi tahu dekat sini. Eh? Okay, sini dia bagi tahu. So, kita akan pakai uh, formula Z number one. Eh? 
Okay, Z number one. Uh, okay, guna formula ni dulu eh. Z X of the group number one divided by X U scan divided by square root and sigma power by two divided by N uh, group number one sigma U power by two divided by N U. So using this formula, 5.5 minus 5.3 divided by 0 0.4 power by 2. Then the division 0.4 of the group number 1, group standard. So we get the value 3.13. Okay. 3.13 is our uh, Z calculation. The cost Z calculation. Z calculate. Now, so Z calculate 3.13. Okay. The next step, we want to know the critical level. So critical level, we get the value 0, 2.33. Okay. Yang ni pun sama, kita kena tengok dekat normal distribution table. You tengok dekat normal distribution table. Uh, 0 0.5 minus 0. Uh, Sekejap saya nak tengok dia punya... Significant level, significant level 0.01. Okay, okay. point zero one. So what you get, yeah, zero point five minus point. 01. You dapat 0 0.4900. Okay, dekat normal distribution table, you tengok 0 0.4900. You tak dapat, you akan dapat dekat 0. 4901. Okay, you dapat 0.4901 dekat normal distribution table. You tengok yang atas apa? Maksudnya apa ni? Maksudnya apa of the table? Eh? 4901. 4901. Apa you dapat 0.03. Okay. The right, no, right, the left, huh? left, you dapat 2.3. So total up, you dapat 2.33. So that's why kita dapat uh, 2.33 kasi. Boleh? Cuba kita tanya T King King Yes, Doctor So, how we get 2.33, faham? Eh? Faham Okay, thank you Uh, Siti Rabia tu? Yes, sir. So, how we get 2.33, faham tak? Eh? Faham. Okay, now. Okay. Okay, thank you. Now, kita lihat kita punya calculation value 3.13. 3.13 somewhere duduk dekat uh, this area. Somewhere this area. Di kat sini adalah 
3.13 you do dekat sini eh so kita melihat balik what decision kita perlu buat this zone adalah do not reject as zero kalau duduk dekat sini so what is decision cuba kita tanya chan zone 1 chan Saya. So. Okay, what is the decision? Decision reject is zero. Okay, good. So that mean we reject is zero. Why we reject is zero, Chang? And because uh, three point one three is bigger than two point three three. Okay, good. Because the we get the, the calculation value three point one three is more than our critical level. Critical level is only two point three three. So resulted we calculate three point one three more than that. So we reject a zero. What we reject a zero? We accept H one. So what H one say? If you want to say uh, mu s lower than mu u. Okay. Bermaksudnya uh, sistem guna u scan masa dia lebih kurang daripada uh, standard one. Okay. Kita lihat pada matematik formula ni kita dapati okay, uh, time of u more lower than uh, standard one. Do maksudnya method u scan lagi bagus compare to the standard. So kita boleh recommend dekat our manager to purchase more the u scan machine uh, to better to service more better to the customer. Boleh eh? Uh, any question? Okay, now we go for next slide. This one also the same example lah. That mean how we have the two sample, two sample of the group to test the proportion. Anyway, kita akan minta uh, Lim Yi Ying. Hello, Lim. Lim tak ada. Ha? So kita minta Nur Alia Nabila. Oh, no, Alia pun tak ada. Ha? Boleh kita stop kita punya lecturer kat sini? Boleh, Doktor. Boleh, ha? So, siapa yang belum scan?